Welcome to Jumpstart Video's Small Business Television Marketing Tutorial. You can advertise effectively and economically on television. All you need are the ideas and information presented here and a video production company flexible enough to meet your needs. Now, it's a simple fact. The way to run an effective local television advertising campaign is to spend less on production and more on the media buy or the actual airtime. Now, it may seem strange that we, as a video production company, are suggesting methods for spending less on video production and more on the media buy, but you see, that's because we ourselves are a small business and identify with small business owners. The demand for the cost-effective services offered by the Jumpstart video production team is growing exponentially with the need for local, economical television advertising production. Now, being a production company, shouldn't I be saying spend lots of money to create a really fantastic commercial? Well, that's absolutely true if you're a large company with a big budget and in a huge market. But if you're running a business in a single small market, your customers are local and your advertising budget is small. And I don't have to tell you, you've got to make every penny count. Remember this basic fact about television advertising. Frequency is the key to a successful television advertising campaign. It's just common sense. The more the ad runs, the more people see it, the better chance you have of generating new business. Even very low budget produced commercials can work if the offer is compelling and people see it. So how do we begin? First, we write a script. Now it doesn't cost you anything if you do this yourself. Of course, video production companies usually have a staff that is more than happy to help you with script writing, but your input and ideas are vital to the success of the project. A few important tips to keep in mind. If your business has many aspects, try to focus on the leading seller or the one you want to become the leading seller. Don't divide your 30 seconds into two unrelated businesses or offerings. Avoid confusing the viewer with the we sell consignment clothing and the restaurant next door has a great lunch special kind of ad. Keep it simple. Sell the benefit and offer. Don't say manufactured with polypropylene. Say it's the most comfortable mattress you can buy. Save the technical stuff for the one-on-one -on -one with the customer when they come in. So let's go through the process. We're going to work backwards and actually create the end of the commercial first. Now, why do I say begin at the end? Well, it's the easy part. This is the call to action. What do you want the audience to do when they see the commercial? Call you, visit your website, or are they to come into your store and see you? So, we'll create the final frame of our commercial first with the visual and voiceover narration. Is it, call now, 555 New Roof? Is it, visit our new location at the Eastwood Mall? Or is it, see our entire inventory online at ourbusiness.com? These are what we call call to action lines. The call to action will be at the end of your TV commercial. This must include specific details on your location, your hours, and the best way for that new customer to contact you. We are telling the viewer what to do, but they're not going to do what we tell them to do unless we give them a reason, some benefit, a reward. The what's in it for me factor is huge here. So let's create the frame just before the call to action with a compelling offer. What would constitute a compelling offer? It's free. It's half price. There's a huge inventory with every shape and color and the other guy is sold out. You will look better, feel better. We can solve a problem that you have. Remember, make it tempting, but don't promise anything you can't deliver. This is the part where you tell people what they're going to get by doing what you tell them at the end of the commercial. What is it that makes people want to act, to buy from you, to give their valuable time to check you out? You know your business and what drives demand for what it is you're doing. You have to convey that in 10 seconds. What? 10 seconds? Well, a typical television commercial is 30 seconds, and you just used approximately 7 seconds at the end telling them what to do. So we suggest your compelling offer is 10 seconds in the middle. 
Now for the most challenging part, the opening. That's why I saved it for last. This is where everybody seems to freeze up. But you see, now we're more than halfway done with the spot. So there's no pressure because we already know where we're headed. So how do we best use the first 13 seconds? Grab their attention, draw them in, be local, tell us who you are, what you've got, and why you're in business. We are this and we do that. One very effective method to do this is to be in the commercial yourself. If you can do it, you may find that being in your own commercial lends credibility to your operation and may give you better results. It will also help you to gauge who is seeing the commercial as people will mention that they saw you on TV. Okay, so far we've gone over the process of putting the script and storyboard together. Now let's talk about the potential pitfalls to avoid when designing your ad. These are the tips you need to save money on producing the commercial so you can spend more on running it. Remembering that frequency is the key to success. You really don't need actors. The best way to create an inexpensive local TV commercial is either to do the sales pitch yourself or have a professional announcer do what we call a voiceover read right from the script. You're far better off to let your sales pitch be center stage. Use your 30 seconds to tell your story, make the offer, and compel the viewer to act immediately. Props and gimmicks can be effective, such as this ad featuring a local Ford dealer on his horse. The horse is part of his logo. He's delivering his own sales pitch and his call to action in a direct but lighthearted manner. These ads are very effective. An on-location visit before the shoot isn't really necessary and would cost you dollars that would better be spent on your media buy. A video crew that knows what they are doing will have all the expertise and equipment to make the shoot work at your location under any circumstances. If you're producing a seasonal ad, kill two birds with one stone. Have the video crew take some shots that can be used in future commercials. Shoot it with and without the Christmas tree. Once the video production company has the video footage, creating updated TV spots can be as easy as dropping in a new voiceover and changing around some of the shots. Plus, this can usually be done at half the cost of creating a spot from scratch. By having a library of scripts and video to draw from, you can take advantage of special rates on television advertising that may be available at different times of the year. If your advertising salesperson from the local cable company comes to you with a sweet deal in mid-January, why you're just a phone call away from having a great commercial ready to go. Also, check with your vendors to see if they have a co-op advertising program. If they do and you'd like to participate, there will most likely be rules and guidelines about how their product or brand is to be represented. Now these are important things to know before you begin production on your commercial as the production company will charge you to go back and re-edit on the request of the manufacturer or vendor. Resist the temptation to use the whole commercial to tell your history. Don't burn up the entire 30 seconds telling the viewer how great you are because you've been in business for 90 years and have the best service in the area and so on. You do that briefly in the open and get to the offer. The competitor who is taking your customers has only been in business for three months, but is gaining market share by making a compelling offer. And don't think of the ad as just a one-time shot in the arm deal. Create the message so that it can be expanded in future runs with new and better offers, but still convey the same story of your business. Finally, here's an idea the results of which can be better than you think. The ultimate do-it-yourself method for creating an inexpensive TV commercial that will allow you to spend more on airtime. It is possible, and in some cases very effective, to create a local TV commercial using simply your logo combined with digital pictures of your business and products. You can put a television commercial together on a very tight budget by taking pictures with your digital camera and sending them by email to the production company. The editor can then combine the images with the soundtrack and the commercial can be done quickly and inexpensively. We hope this presentation has helped guide you towards more effective and economic use of television advertising. I invite you to call our Jumpstart Video Small Business Marketing Center and talk to one of our talented and creative team of professionals who are available to guide you further. Thank you for your time and good luck.